Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and today I'm on a huge site and I'm joined with a long-term friend of mine, Stuart Kirk from the Sirius Group. We're social distancing today, Stuart, so I'm shouting at you because you've got the microphone. We're here and we're going to see something come up behind us very, very shortly because you've brought on your brand spanking new K-Tech scrapers with their fantastic new Volvo trucks on to the site here. Tell me about, about what's going on, Stuart. I've been invited to come down to uh, Magna Park for Mick George to help with their earthworks on site. They wanted to have a look at the K-Tech scraper themselves, thinking of possibly purchasing. We've worked something out and we had uh, two brand new uh, A30 tier five truck, adapted those to the K-Tech scrapers. We've taken the older trucks off and put the new ones on. But SMT saying there's another 5% increase in efficiency, fuel savings. All we've got is Komatsu Dozer here, giving them help hand to put an extra two or three cube in the box. Just to understand this, we've got the scraper, which comes basically with a detachable front end. In this case, it's the Volvo truck that Stuart's talked about. We've also then got the power of a dozer pushing it so that we can actually get that scraping done faster. And so what that means uh, all up, Stuart, is the fact that you're moving material faster than any other method, aren't you, on site here? Yes, we are. And the thing, what you've got to notice is the machines don't stop. When they're actually loading, they're on the way to the tip. And when they've tipped, they're on the way back to the dig. They don't stop where the conventional truck stops to be loaded and it stops to tip. So that's where you get your efficiencies there, you know. All adds up to the cycle times. And this is really critical on the cycle times because what we're seeing here is there's two people involved in this particular setup, but normally it can just be one. That's one driver, one operator, whereas you're going to be feeding a team of trucks. Now, I've talked to the people at Mick George here before this conversation, and they're basically saying to me that actually we would have to have four trucks and one excavator to do the job of this scraper. Exactly. That's incredibly different concept, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And fuel burn is yeah. going to be dramatically different, yeah, isn't that, it? That, that's right, yeah. They are really efficient. Conventional scrapers, there's nothing wrong with them. Fantastic. But the box on the back is still the same as on a conventional scraper. Bring it up to date. What is the latest thing, right? Fuel efficient engines, trucks. So we can take that scraper off, you know, if we're doing a cycle of changing trucks every three years, right? We've still got the same scraper box. So there's a long life investment there, really. And the other thing about that, Stuart, is we're seeing emissions being really important for projects like HS2, aren't we? Yes. Because that's right. emissions, unless you've got the right engine in something, they're not even going to let you on the site now. Exactly. And they're actually doing emissions testing before anything comes on site. So when we've got big projects like HS2, Highways England projects, they're going to have to have the latest equipment pulling it, aren't you? Exactly. And that's the thing, in two or three years' time, they might even have more efficient engines on the trucks. Yep. We've still got the same scraper box at the back. The beauty about this scraper muck is seasonal. Yep. If we've no work for the scrapers, we'll drop the boxes off, put the skips back on, and they go and do the normal job. This is real asset utilisation, you can see behind me, folks. And also, Stuart's made a really good point there. These guys want to work 365 days a year yep. as such. So they're able to do that in different applications. Stuart, it's been fun, it's been noisy, but that's a great setup you've got there. Thanks for inviting me down. No problem. If the wheels aren't turning, we're not earning. Exactly.